Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we are going to take a look at a question that a whole bunch of people have had recently, which is how to change the preset flag, we'll call it right here, on the phone element. So right now it is set to the United States of America, and the person who reached out to me and asked me how to do this, he wanted to know how to set it to the United Kingdom. I, of course, will show you how to do this for any of them on the list here and show you what the difference is if they're above or below this line right here as well. So first off, as you see, all I did is I set up a very simple form, email address, phone number, and a button. All I really needed on the page was the phone number element because that's what we're going to set up today. So here it is on the page. And so now let's just go in and take a look at the code I have in here. And at this point, I have the code completely turned off because I wanted to show it as it natively would be and defaulting to the United States. So what you want to do is come up here to where the flag is and right click on the flag and then come down and click on inspect. It doesn't matter which browser you're in, either any browser you're in, it will open up what they refer to as the developer tools and we'll get to see the code inside of here because you are going to have to actually do this and look at the code to know how to change it because every one of these flags on here puts different code in over here. So I'm going to show you very specifically what we have to do to find that code. So the first part we're going to look for, and again, I will show you the code itself, and I will show you in here. So first thing we're going to look for is this class right here. So if you click on it, you're going to normally end up down here. You want to come to this element above it, and it says it's got a class of ITI underscore selected dash flag. Now that um, underscore here, there's actually two underscores back to back. So this is what we are looking for right there. Inside of here, you're looking for two things. One is the title equals United States colon plus one. And then we have ARIA active descendant equals ITI dash zero underscore underscore item dash US dash preferred. Now the preferred here actually means that it is above this line right here. That's all that preferred means. But if you are picking one above that line, you have to make sure you include that information in there. Okay. So let me just show you what happens when we change this. So let's just change it now to United Kingdom. And you see a couple of things flashing around on the screen here. But we're back here into our ITI selected flag right there. And instead of title equals United States, and then a plus one, it's title equals United Kingdom plus 44. And then the ARIA active descendant, it still has the ITI dash one underscore underscore, but now it says item dash GB dash preferred. So Great Britain preferred. But now if we come down further and we go down below that line, let's go to Albania. Okay, so again here on our ITI selected flag is the title equals Albania and whatever that says and then plus three five five but then when we get to the aria active descendant it only does the ITI dash one underscore underscore item dash AL for Albania. So that's a couple of things we're looking for right there. And so then also we got one more well actually two more things on here. We have right below it here we have ITI flag as a class and also ITI underscore underscore AL for Albania. And again, if we change this back to the United Kingdom, we have right here it is ITI flag. And then we have ITI underscore underscore GB for Great Britain. So that's the second item that we are looking for here. Then the third one we are looking for is down here in this input element, right down here. So it says we have input right here. And because there could be multiple inputs on the page, we want to make sure we pick the particular type of input we're looking for, which is the type here equals phone number. So I'll show you how you put that in. You put just square. You can copy that right out of there and just put square brackets around it. And then it's <coughs> type equals phone number. And then what we're going to change in here is the placeholder. Because each one of these has different placeholder text in it. So for this case, Great Britain has all these numbers here. If we change this now to the United States, we have our placeholder right here. 201-555-0123. 
two, three. Let's go to New Zealand. We have our placeholder again is slightly different. So you want to make sure you put that in exactly how it is showing in here. So in the case of this placeholder, all you do is you find the placeholder, you just come over here and you click on it. And uh, sometimes if you click on it, it will, it will just highlight the whole thing. In this case here, apparently you have to just go over it, copy that or write it onto a piece of paper and then put it into the code however you want to do it. Same thing up here with the our ITI flag. Here we can just double click on ITI underscore underscore NZ, grab a hold of that. Here for our title, same thing, just kind of double click on there. Or you can uh, triple click on the whole thing and grab the whole thing like that as well. And then what else did we need in here? Oh, that was down here as well. We have our active descendant. So we can just kind of triple click on that and copy that as well. So that makes it a lot easier. You can just copy it and then take it over into the code. So I'm going to give you the base code here for the United Kingdom. You just have to change it. So what I'm going to do is I had commented it out with these uh, arrows right here. So we're going to save that and then let us come back over here and reload the page. And you'll see how it should work. It changed it out. See so there for a split second it was on the U.S. Then it changed to, the, uh, to Great Britain. And if we right click and we inspect on this here, we're going to see we got Great Britain right here. Great Britain right there. And then down here we got the phone number and of course we had United Kingdom right there. So let me show you how this all works. First thing we have to do is we have to do a window on load function. So once it's what it says is once the page is fully loaded, all of the everything is painted on the page, all the images, the forms in our case here that we're looking for, everything is done painting on the page. Then we want to go in and we want to change either classes or attributes. So depending on which one we are changing, it's either going to be a class or an attribute. So the very first one here is a class. This is our ITI flag class. And to the element that that ITI flag class is in, we want to add a new element and remove an old element. So, uh, or a, a class to be specific is what I'm saying here. So we want to remove the class of ITI US, and in this case here, because we're doing United Kingdom, Great Britain, whatever you want to call it, we want to add the class of ITI underscore underscore GB for Great Britain. And so again, that's what we are seeing right in here. So we come in here and we're saying, okay, give me the element that has the class of ITI flag. So that's what this says here. Give me the class of ITI flag. And then what we want to do is we want to change out this one right here. So when the page starts off, let me change this back here to the United States. So when it starts, it gives us ITI US. We want to change that to ITI GB in this case that we're working on right now. So that's what this does here. It changes it from the ITI GB to, I mean, it changes it from ITI US to ITI GB. So we add the GB class, we remove the US class. That's what that line does there. So the next thing we're looking for is our ITI selected flag. So again, that was the element right above it here. So here we go again, we're saying, find the element that has the class of ITI selected flag, and then we're going to do something to it. Just like down here, we said, find the element that has the class of ITI flag, and then we're going to do something to it. So here we go, ITI selected flag, we found this element right here. What do we want to do to it? We need to change these two things right down here. So we're going to say we want to add an attribute to this. And we are add or change because right now we already have an attribute of title, but we want to change it. So it says go in there and find that attribute of title, which is right here. That is an attribute of title. And we want to change the value of that attribute. So in our case here, it will start off as, let's uh, put it back to where we would start from. So we have a title here of uh, uh, United States plus one. And we want to change that to United Kingdom plus 44 in our case. Again, for all of these here, you have to go through. You have to pick your country. You have to look what it says here. So in this case here, we would come in and it says Ireland. We would copy that 
out where it said Ireland, and we would paste it in right here instead of where it says United Kingdom. Okay, now we have another attribute on the page, which is right after the one we're currently looking at, and it says aria-active-descendant. So again, we have aria-active-descendant, um, aria and what we want to do is change this entirety of this thing out right here. Oops. So again, here's one of these cases where you're going to have to like take your mouse and go over it and copy it like that. So we got here iti dash zero underscore underscore item dash ie dash preferred. Again, preferred means above that line in the drop down. And so we would take that and we would paste that in right here where we have the iti zero iti gb preferred. We would paste that in right in here and then that would become Ireland in this case. So again, make sure you come in, you check these things out, you find your country, you want to, I don't even know where that is, Bahamas. So we're going to be in the Bahamas, we're going to come down here in the Bahamas, and we're going to look for our ARIA active descendant. Yes, every time you click on there, things bounce around and stuff, so you might have to click a couple times to get it to work. So in a case of the Bahamas, we would use the title equals to Bahamas plus one. And then for the aria descendant, we just click into this part right here. We highlight it, copy that, bring it over, and put it in right here where we had the uh, Great Britain and preferred. Again, Bahamas below the line, so it was not part of the preferred class in here. So now the last thing we have to look at is uh, we come down here a little bit further. We come down here to our input. So here's where we got our flag stuff up here, and so down here a little bit. It should be right there. And again, when you click on this and you open this up under, click on it, hit inspect, it should bring everything right here exactly like this is showing on the page. So again, down here, we have an input element that also has an attribute of type equals phone number. So let me show you that. We have uh, input element type equals phone number. And then again, we already have an existing attribute of placeholder, but we need to change what that is. So again, here in this case here, we got our placeholder, and this in this case here, what uh, country are we on right now? We are in the Bahamas right now, so we would just click on this. We would copy that out of the Bahamas, and we would paste that in right here, and then that will give us our new placeholder. Now, there's only one other line on here I haven't shown you yet, and that's right here. Set timeout function to... 100 milliseconds or one tenth of a second and I found that if you don't delay it a little bit that this number won't kick in so I think what it is is by doing this it's changing it from the one country to another country we have to delay it for a tenth of a second only you can make that longer if it doesn't seem to be working if the placeholder isn't going in just make this like 500 milliseconds or something like that instead you could even do one second not going to be a big deal and then that will make sure that this has a chance to run before it tries to put the placeholder text into the uh, into the the phone number field here so <clears throat> In this case, like right here, let me just do one for you, and whatever. Well, let's just leave it as the Bahamas here. So we're on the Bahamas. So again, we're going to come up here, and we're going to say our title equals Bahamas plus one. So we're just going to copy this, because we already know we have our title. It's already in the code that I have right here. So that's going to be the second line right here. And we're going to say the Bahamas. We're going to put that right there. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I am going to change these two lines around that way they will be in the order that they are showing on the page okay so we got the bahamas first and then the next thing will come in and we got our aria active descendant and we will copy this out again it does not have the preferred on it because it is below that line so we will copy this out of here pop that in just like that and then we got our ITI flag we have to look for. Here is our ITI flag right there. And we're just going to copy. Well, we can just double click on that. We'll copy that little bit right there. And then we need it to uh, remove the class of the US and add the class of this right there, the ITI BS right there. So we're adding that class, removing the other one. Now the last thing we need to do is find that placeholder. And so the placeholder was right down here. 
So we'll double click on where it says placeholder, highlights the whole thing for us very nicely. Then you can copy it out and we'll come in here. We will V that in there, command V and uh, save this page. Okay, so now let's uh, open up a new window here and see what we have. We got the Bahamas showing here, and when you click on there, it will give you the default pattern that you should put in there. And so now I change this back to the United Kingdom so I could grab all the code out, put it back in here now so it is back set to the UK, just like I had it to begin with. So I can give you the code and there it goes. It defaults back to the UK. So there you go. Like I said, the hardest part is you got to open this up. You got to do some inspecting. You got to dig around in here a little bit looking for specific things. But I think once you watch this video, you should be able to very easily pick out exactly where they are right here. United Kingdom, this one right there, the uh, active descendant, the uh, active, the ITI flag there, and then down here, the placeholder right there so that's it four bits of information you got to pull out and that's it so if you got any questions just let me know